I've been growing my facial hair recently. You will see with this, if I had a better quality camera or better lighting, you could see it. I don't know, is this better lighting? If I just put my phone here, flashlight. Ugh. Ugh. I look crusty, bro. <laughs> I got my mustache going a bit. It's like a pinot mustache. I got... This, it looks... I'm, I'm about to take a picture and show you guys. I'm looking at the community tab. My big ass forehead, bro. Look at my look at my big ass forehead, guys. Oh no, I need to take this hair off so you see. It. Oh my god, <gasps> this is why I have hair. Uh, I think I'm going buzz, but look at it. <laughs> I would look so ugly, man. I would look so ugly. I might just do it as a humbling experience, though. I mean, I was watching first my video, he's like, every young man should go bald. It's like, why? I don't want to go bald. But like, you just see, like, it's like a, a source of motivation because it pushes you. Because if you lose hair, like, losing hair is usually a sign of aging. And aging is a sign of mortality. And mortality is proof you're not going to be immortal. And proof you're not going to be immortal is fear of death. And fear of death makes you work harder. Signs of death make you work harder because you realize the not necessarily futility of life. You can you can see it both ways, right? One, you see you you feel like life is futile and anything you do is pointless and da, 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 and you shouldn't live life. YOLO, do whatever you want anyway, and then you end up smoking weed and being a bullshitter and fucking your life. All right. On the other side of the spectrum, you panic. You panic about life because you because you have such fear of death even if it's far away you have such fear of death and i think it's very very how do i say this it's very negative very hard on the soul hard on your mind all these kind of wax they finish melting they finish um they're fine some kind of wax mm, that was nice look at this one though mm. It's not like fucking dirt, man. The fuck. I need to put more. Like, look at this wax. I need to put more wax on the thing because that back is not being capitalized. Uh. Anyways, back uh, back to the main topic of the video. Fear of death makes you work hard, or you get such panic from the fear of death, you either get immobilized. And there's more. There's always two uh, ways people approach things. The panic makes you crumble. And then makes you back into a bullshitter, a weed smoker, or it makes you, it makes you into a productive person. And you slowly get your life back on track. That's why eighteen to twenty-five is usually the make or break for most men. But it doesn't need to be. Like if you're a fifteen-year-old kid, I don't know. This might go viral. It's probably won't. I don't give a fuck. I don't use this channel for views. I do this channel just to put my message out there, spread my message. You know what I'm saying? If you're a fifteen-year-old kid or a fourteen-year-old kid. You have such a fucking advantage if you get on self improvement this year early, because like by twenty you have five years of self improvement experience. You probably have some business earning you one, two, three, four, five grand a month. You probably have something in like something going for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And life would be so much fucking better. Life would be so much better. I was saying, uh, my my friend, like my friend, he is younger than me. He's fifteen. Your friends with a 15 year old, what's wrong with you? He's actually my friend who's 18. He's about to be 19. Ugh, I'm about to be 18. Ugh. I'm 18 in the 10th of July. What the fuck? Same birthday as Nikola Tesla, Tom Holland, and Kim Hichel. I really like Kim Hichel. I never knew this. And it sounds like he has the same birthday as me. It's crazy. But Tom Robinson's again. Nikola Tesla. Imagine I'm the reincarnation of Nikola Tesla. That would be a fucking damn. I do have a knack for inventing, and I quite like it, but I like learning it by myself. I like learning in the classroom bullshit. <laughs> Who's talking shit about me? It's fucking 4 a.m. in the morning, man. That's an Asian stereotype. Don't worry about it. Oh, fear of death, fear of death, fear of death. Mortality, huh? I literally forgot what the fuck train I thought I was on. It's just like some Theo Vaughn podcast, man. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, 15 euro, you think of a business, uh, entrepreneurship experience. I think that 18 to 25 is one of those unique years where you have so much time for so little time because you're slowly transitioning from young adult to adult. And for the most part, the way people are view you is that you've been a child longer than you've been an adult, which is a huge issue. Because if you've been a child longer than if you've been a child longer than being an adult, it's hard to be taken seriously. That's like like in my business it was hard for me to be taken seriously until I got results and then everyone around me and my family were like, Oh yeah, he sounds a bit more like an adult now. He sounds a bit more like he's coming like he understands the world, he understands the shit. That's what my family was telling me. Before my family met me, they were like, Oh he dropped out of school, he's some bullshit. Then I got results. And then oh wow, he's a smart ass. Uh, young entrepreneur, genius. Bullshit, I'm not a genius. I'm a fucking idiot, guys. I stress that a lot. Boys, again, back to the original point. People only really recognize you when you get results because that uh, thing, you can't really argue with results. Like, even if you were a child before, even if you're some stupid shit. I used, to, I used to be a retard, guys. I used to be an absolute idiot. I was fat as well, I was ugly. I wasn't in a good position in life, and how do I say this? Just getting, getting your shit together now. That's the most important part, the thing you can do. And don't, fo don't focus on the past. Don't focus on the future. Don't focus on the past because then you think to yourself, oh, why did I do that? Don't focus on the future because then, you think you, because then it just turns to worry. You think to yourself, is it gonna, all going to be okay? It's just it's just bullshit. Focus on what you can do now. Stake your life on it. That's what Shuzo Matsuoka said, right? Stake your life on it, and you will be alive. That guy's a fucking G, by the way. That guy's a fucking man. That's the, he's a man. I can't believe he's a tennis player as well. That's crazy. I really like tennis. I'm the one to play with. <laughs> I played squash before alone. <sighs> I have no group that's productive, I can think of, like entirely so. That's productive, what, thinking about entrepreneurship, thinking about fitness, thinking about this, thinking about that. Who are my age? I have no one in this category. And that's the beauty of going online, right? You can find people online. Do that, But it's never the same. Like, I like meeting people in person. I like socializing in person. I like, I like something like that. <sighs> so, signs of death movie, man. I think life is very, very finite. I know that life is very finite. I still remember when I was 10 years old. It feels like a fever dream now, but I, the memories are so clear. I still remember when I was even three years old. I used to um, draw. I was a banana. I used to draw a Iron Man image in my nursery. And then I used to play with banana as if it was a gun. I still do that, I still do that sometimes. <laughs> Truth. I still do that sometimes. Childish, I know. But, um, I me. Mean, I'm going to trade the world for it. I really hope that I become successful. If I don't become successful, then what the fuck's the point, right? Obviously, there needs to be a baseline of hard work in place and hard work ethic, but it needs to be at the right thing so it's all justified. I'm, I'm lost as I'm confused. Young and confused. I'll make another video now. Sayonara.